Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you very much for tuning in. In this episode, we're going to go over the Albinox folding knife that was sent to me by Bloodvein Industries. Let's have a look. Okay, so Bloodvein Industries have sent me a whole bunch of knives to review, and this is one of them. This is one of my favourite knives in the whole collection that they've sent me. So let's go over it and see what it's all about. Alright guys, so let's go over the appearance of this knife. I really dig the appearance of this knife. It's really nice looking. So we've got some nice wood scales here, some steel bolsters, brass pins, and all in all, I really like this knife. So let's go over a few features here. Like I said, we've got some brass pins and a brass lanyard hole here as well. The scales here are Madeira wood. I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right, but that's spelt M-A-D-E-R-A. -E so Madeira wood scales, really nice finish on these scales. I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, just a nice feel and, and a nice appearance as well. So we have the steel bolster and a stainless steel blade. The blade is 420 stainless steel. We've got some jimping up the top here uh, just for your thumb there so you can really get in there and, and uh, do some whittling or whatever you want to do with it. The blade has got a slight concave in the back of it here. We have our thumbnail notch there so that you can get it out of the handle nicely. And we have a really stiff, that, that's actually locked in quite well. There's no movement in this blade whatsoever. It's a really good fit. And you've got the lock up the back here, the compression lock. So it is quite tough and it just snaps nicely into place there. And you know that's not going to come undone in your pocket. So as far as length goes, we're looking at 9.7 centimetres for the blade, for the cutting edge, and a total of 22 centimetres in full length. So nice and weighty in the hand, that is super comfortable to hold. Just for your information, I have tried this and it is sharp out of the box, which I really like. Very, very sharp. Look at that. All oh, the way to the tip. So, having it do that, I'm really interested to see if it will stand up to this one. I did this with the uh, the wolf spider, Spyderco wolf spider, and it performed quite well. So let's see if this one is the same. Or oh, not quite. Oh, hang on. We might be into something here, you just got to get it started. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So there you go guys. The Albinox folder. This one doesn't have a name like a lot of the Albinox brand. So what number you want to quote is 19369. So that's the uh, the product number. Very nice knife. I really like this knife. Uh, just a disclaimer as well. Uh, Les kindly gifted me this knife with a folder for doing these reviews on his product. Um, I did change my mind on that and I settled for the fixed blade because I didn't have a, a decent fixed blade. So thank you very much, Les, for your generosity. Uh, I really don't mind doing these videos for you, especially for products like this. This is a really nice, elegant folder. I, I, I like this a lot. Um, 
Probably the only thing that I would pick on is it doesn't have a belt clip, but for the style of knife, I think it would really draw away from these nice wood scales here. <clears throat> so find yourself someone that makes leatherworks. I can recommend RMK Leatherworks. They do custom stuff for customers. I'll leave a link for his Facebook page in the description. If you ever decide to buy something like this or just go and check out his Facebook page as well if you have a nice knife like this that you want a sheath made up for or a pouch. So thank you very much guys. Go and check out Blood Vein Industries on Facebook, Instagram and bloodveinindustries.com.au. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description in there as well. So go and check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'm also now on Patreon so you can go and help me out with, uh, with a bit of cash and that will allow me to get some funds together to get some better equipment. There's one bird that had to come into this right now, didn't it? So, yeah. Uh, Patreon account, uh, three different levels of, of Patreonism there, which is three, five or ten dollars a month. So I'll be posting up some videos on there as well, which is the ones that you'll see on my YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks guys. See you later.